20 CRM tutorial. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about 20 CRM and how you're going to be able to use this incredible open source CRM for yourself. Now, a CRM is a customer relationship management platform, okay, which allows you to go ahead and manage all of your workings in one place, may it be projects, may it be tasks, or any type of other work. Now, 20 is first of all open source, which is pretty cool, and it's modern, powerful, affordable platform to manage all of your customer relationships. Now, it's an operating system for your customer data, which is built on customer data and adaptable to your unique workflows. It's quite designed to fit the evolving business requirements of fast growing companies to work on for. Now, we have objects which model your data with custom objects. Then we have powerful GraphQL and REST APIs to work along with. And finally, we have data sources where you can connect Postgres, Stripe, and many more data sources to your work. Now, plus all the features of a great CRM, you get tasks where you can never miss a deal again, Kanban views where you can visualize all of your workflows, rich notes with text blocks and markdowns, fly through the app with intuitive shortcuts, and a powerful Chrome rule. Then you can move over to emails where you can synchronize all of your emails and keep your CRM up to date, keep customers within the site, and boost your visibility and productivity to work along with. Now, this is the power of open source, whereas 20 is GPL licensed. It means you own, not rent the software. You get the simplicity of SAAS with the freedom and cost savings of open source. It's also a thriving community where a welcoming community of hundreds of developers that share expertise and offer support are provided. You get open roadmap where missing a feature, you can start a discussion, report an issue, contribute the code, or even fork the repository. It's also secured by design where you can benefit from the collective oversight of a global community that quickly identifies and resolves issues. And obviously you can check out all the words from community and see how the CRM works. So to start off for ourselves and give ourselves a journey on how this works, what you're going to do is you're going to click on get started. And once we click on get started, 20 is going to bring you here to this. So this is where you're going to add an email. So I'm going to enter this email over here and we're going to click on continue from here. It's going to ask you a password. So do make sure to add a password that you think is strong enough. So once we've added that, we're simply going to click on sign up. Now, once you click on sign up, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you here. So it says, choose your plan. You can enjoy a seven day free trial with both of these plans, by the way. So let's say we're going to go with a monthly plan and click on continue. Now, once you do that, what it does is it brings you to the billing. So simply go ahead and enter any details that you want to. So you can enter your card, you can enter your cash app pay, or even your bank if you want to work along with it. It depends on you on which working you want to go with. And obviously, once you've opted for that, it should take you straight into 20's very own CRM. Now, the best part about 20 CRM is that it's a lot like Notion. So if you have used Notion AI, then you will get along with 20 pretty quickly. So here in Notion AI, you can see the Notion AI software looks a lot like this. Now, this is a content management software, but this is what it looks like. The CRM has immaculate features. It's totally minimalistic, and it's great for all types of users out there where you can collaborate and work in one space in the easiest and most simplest way. And this is how it looks and this is how our 20 looks so we can see that the similarity is there but do the features work well for the actual infrastructure that it provides us so let's go ahead and talk about that now 20 although is a very good crm it has its pros and its cons like every good software out there so obviously before letting you you know giving you the green light it for if you should use 20 for yourself i will let you know all the cons and all the pros that there are to it so you know you don't make a hasty decision for yourself now as someone who is passionate about web development particularly in open source contributions this is an exciting opportunity to dive deep into for your impactful projects okay so the privilege of exploring 20 CRM is amazing, which is an open source alternative to different softwares like Salesforce, Notion, and a whole lot more 
that make a developer-friendly, self-hostable, and privacy-friendly solution. So to give you a rundown, first of all, there's the Discovering the 20 CRM. So, you know, you can check their story as well where you can see what they're actually about. So basically setting up 20 CRM locally turned out to be incredibly straightforward. Within just a few minutes, you follow their clear setup instructions and the CRM runs on your machine smoothly. Okay, the process is smooth and the ease of installation made, um, makes everything immediate and positive impression. It's clear that 20CRM was built to be accessible not only to seasoned developers, but also to anyone who values control over their data and a self-hosted setup. So once it's running and good to go, you take closer look at its features and the platform's privacy-friendly approach is quite evident. Now, why does 20CRM stand out in solving real problems in a smart way? So many popular CRM platforms come with limitations that can be challenging for developers. Often traditional CRMs have high subscription costs, limited control over data, and restricted customization options that can make it difficult to tailor the CRM specific needs that people need. So this is where 20CRM really shines for you. So you can find that within its open source developer focused design, 20CRM provides a flexible solution that overcomes many of these typical CRM drawbacks. It allows users to set up a self-hosted instance, giving full ownership of their data and enabling easy integrations with existing systems. By offering REST and GraphQL APIs, 20CRM makes it seamless to connect with other tools to automate workflows, making it an ideal choice for developers who want to extend or adapt the platform as their projects evolve. So the key features of 20CRM are first of all, the open source CRM with modern design and features. So one of the first things you notice in 20 CRM sleek intuitive interface, it's built with modern frameworks like react 20 feels like a solution designed for modern users. The layout is extremely organized, making it easy to navigate through contacts, deals and other CRM essentials without a steep learning curve to stop you from learning new things. Now, it's also well-structured and a true lifesaver for different developers that want to get started with 20 right away. Now, there's also effortless automation and integrations that 20 provides you. One of the standard features that make 20 CRM incre incredibly versatile is its support for seamless integrations. So with direct integration options for platforms like Zapier, it's easy to automate repetitive tasks like syncing data across different platforms without needing any coding skills. So for instance, setting up custom workflows that sync data between tools or trigger notifications based on certain actions, which can be done with just a few clicks. Then there's the extensibility option, which is the open source advantage. So one of the best things about using and contributing to an open source project like 20CRM is the sheer freedom it offers to make the platform truly your own. So since it's open source, 20CRM's code is available to everyone, meaning you can tailor it to your specific needs without hitting a wall like you would with proprietary CRMs. Now this flexibility really shines if your business or project has unique requirements that standard CRMs just can't accommodate for you. So all of these things are something you want to keep in mind before working with 20CRM, but in my personal opinion, 20CRM is extremely great and it's good for all of your developers and CRM users out there. So do use it as soon as you can if you like the standard workflow. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.